Hey folks, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit Get Started with FX Trigger from the module FX Trigger. This is the very first unit of this module. So what basically we are going to do here is we are going to create an FX Trigger on account object by the name of account address trigger. Uh, this trigger will be fired uh, based on two events, that is before insert and before update. So whenever I'll insert, uh, so whenever we will insert an account a record or try to update it, this uh, trigger will be fired. Now there is one condition uh, which we have to check uh, before executing our logic. It is match billing address. If this field value is true, then billing postal code will be assigned to our po uh, shipping postal code. So this is the simple logic that we have to build in our trigger. But before moving further with our trigger logic, we have one pre-work to do, which is we have to create this match billing address field. This, is, uh, this has to be built on account object and the type of this field is checkbox. So quickly launching our trailhead playground, you will land on this page. Now from here, just click on this gear like icon and select setup. Moving on to setup, you will be landing on this home page of setup. Now select this object manager option and the list of standard and custom objects that are there present in your org, you will land on this page. Select account from here. Now we have to create a new field. So select fields and relationship and click on new. From here, it will give you option to select the type of the field. So it has to be checkbox. So I have selected checkbox and clicking on next. Now it will be asking the details of the field that I have to provide. So field label as mentioned in our challenge has to be match billing address. So I've uh, pasted it here. This will remain intact and the field name will be auto populated. I do not have to change anything else on this uh, in these settings. Now next is we will not uh, change anything over here as well. And this, these are specifying the layouts on which this field will be placed on. So that is fine. And simply I will click on save. Now this was the pre-work that we have to do before moving on towards our trigger. So from this gear like icon, I, I will again select this developer console. So I've already opened that up. I will close the other tabs that are there. Now I will create a new trigger going to file new and Apex trigger. The name that I have to provide is I will simply copy it from the challenge, which is account address trigger. And going back to here, I will paste this. For S object, it has to be built on account. So simply select account and submit. So this is going to give you a default layout where account, uh, where your trigger name has been already placed and the object which on which it is built on uh, is also mentioned. And in bracket, it has mentioned the events on which it will fire. So we have to fire this uh, trigger on two events. First is before insert, which is already by default here. I have to mention one more uh, before update. So I will simply add this here. Now this trigger will be executed whenever I will insert uh, an account record or I will try to update it. So this trigger will be is, uh, executed. Now, in order to fetch the record, which has uh, fired this trigger, what I will do is I will use for, for each loop in which I will create a variable of type account. And I'm going to give that variable name as ACC OBJ colon, and I will use trigger dot new on which this for each loop will be uh, looping. So trigger dot new basically contains all the records that are firing this trigger. So, so when I will try to insert a record, so that record will come into this trigger dot new. If I, if I'm trying to update a record, so that record, which is trying, which I'm trying to update will come into this trigger dot new. If there are, is a list of records that I'm trying to update or insert, then that list will come into this trigger.new. So basically trigger.new contains uh, the values or the uh, records that has fired this trigger. So uh, now this is uh, the for loop. Now what I have to do is I have to check one condition over here, which is the field. So I will use this ACC OBJ variable, paste it here and I will try to access the field which is matching 
match billing address. So if this field is equal to true, then only it should further proceed towards the logic. And in logic, simply I have to assign shipping postal code the value of ACC OBJ dot billing postal code. So this is the simple logic that you have to build. Uh, you can uh, for this if condition you keep you can keep it this way or you can if you just remove this this also means the same so for now I'm keeping this equal to true uh, for the sake of simplicity now I will just save it and this is the simple logic that we have to build for this challenge now I will go back to my org here and in app launcher we are going to select account we are just going to test this trigger right so I will use this uh, all accounts and I'm going to select this first Burlington Textile Corp of America. Now here in details, I will just, first of all, I will update one field. So for updating, I will be using match billing address field. So this is uh, when this is true. So I have simply selected it true. So what will happen over here is billing address so if this field is true, this billing postal code should be assigned to shipping postal code. So as of now, there is no value. So I'm simply going to save this. If this trigger is working fine, it should update the po shipping postal code with the value of billing postal code. So as you can see, this was 27215. It has updated uh, the postal shipping postal code with the billing postal code, right? So our trigger is working fine. Now we will go back to our challenge and simply just click on check challenge to earn 500 points. Hopefully finger crossed, it should work fine. Let's just wait uh, if there are any errors. So this is taking some time. Let's just wait to So there you go, this challenge has been completed. Uh, so this also results to the completion of first unit. In the next video, we will be covering the second unit of this module. Till then, take care, bye, thank you.